right. Um, this is going to be a little video on how to use Google Drawings to complete your sports safety assignment for the week. So when you log into your Google Classroom, you'll see this week's assignment. When you click on it and view the whole assignment, you will see that there are two parts of the assignment. The first thing you're gonna to, going to want to click on is the Google slide. And on this part, it is going to have a few things for you for you to do, but also the instructions that you will need to complete the assignment. While that's loading, I'm going to go back to Google Classroom and I'm actually going to open the second part as well. And that is the Google drawing that we are going to be going over today. But you are going to need the instructions from the Google slide to know what to do. So as you progress down the slide, um, you'll have some information about what we're going to do. And then there's a couple questions on here for you to fill out. Remember, anything with a sticky note means that you will have to respond. And there's two questions there. Uh, and then we have a couple information slides on five and six. And number seven is when we get, start getting into the information about the project. So this says that you will be creating a poster using Google Drawings. I'm um, using the file found in Google Classroom, which we already have opened up here. And so what we need to do is go to this site. It's the title is five ways to avoid sports injuries and we're going to pick a topic from that site and we're going to write the topic right here and that is going to be the topic of our poster so if i click on this site i'm going to open a new tab and it says five ways to avoid sports injury you can either choose wear protective gear warm up know the rules of the game or watch out for others oh Here's another one. Don't play when you're injured. I'm going to choose for our purposes, I'm going to choose wear protective gear. So I'm going to head back to the Google slide and I'm going to write in here wear protective gear. All right, moving down to the next slide. These are step by step instructions on how you're going to make a project. Here's an example of what it might look like. The example topic here was know the rules of the game. Mine was wear protective gear. So it's obviously going to look a little bit different. It says, open Google Drawing template in your Google Classroom assignment. So I already did that, right? I have the Google Drawing open. It's right here on the other, the other tab. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this screen smaller by putting my cursor at the edge and just dragging it over, making sure that I can still see the directions, but it's smaller. Then I can take my Google Drawing tab and drag it over to the other side. So now I can see my directions and be working on my project. I might have to adjust the size of these windows, but this is gonna help me out a little bit. So I have my Google Drawing, have it open. The second thing says you're going to go to File, Page Setup, and change the paper size. So right here, click on File. Go all the way down to Page Setup. It, it always automatically in Google Drawings gives you the size. That's not the normal paper size. So anytime you're using Google Drawing, if it's something that you're going to print in a poster or something you might print, you're going to want to change this too. 8.5 tab over by 11 inches, and I'm going to apply this. And you'll notice on Google Drawing, it changed a little bit. The way the paper is, it looks a little bit different. So I completed step number two. It says once your, number three, says once your score topic is chosen, add a background picture that matches your topic. I'm going to bring this over a little bit so you can see me do this. The way you're going to do it, you're going to insert image, if you have a picture on your computer, you can upload from your computer, but let's just say you don't, you can search the web. Now this little area on the side is going to pop up. My topic was wear protective gear. So if I think about protective gear, maybe what comes to mind is a helmet. So I'll type in helmet here and a bunch of pictures are going to pop up and I'm going to pick which one I like. Maybe I'll be more specific. Maybe I'll put in here a uh, baseball. 
or no, how about softball helmet? Okay, I've got a, a lot of pictures to choose from. Now, noticing that my page is long rather than short, maybe I want a longer picture. Mm, I'm kind of thinking I just want a picture of just the helmet. Like, I don't want a person in it. There's one, there's one. Mm, okay, I'll go back up to this one. That's pretty basic of a picture. So it, when I click on it, I get the little arrow and I can insert it. And now it is in my Google drawing. Since it's a background image, I'm going to try and make it bigger. Oh, too big. Now I'm going to make it smaller. Sometimes it takes a couple tries there. You can make it longer if you want to, or you can just put it in the center of your page. Now, it, it's a background picture. I don't want it to be this dark, right? Because if I type on top of it, you're not going to be able to see the typing. Now, going back to our directions, it says you're going to highlight the picture. You can tell it's highlighted because it has the blue around it. You're going to go to Format Options, Adjustments, Transparency, and Lighten the Background Image. If your picture is not highlighted, doesn't have the blue around it, you don't have the Format Options up here. Let me make this a little bit bigger. So you actually have to click on the image and then your format options appear. I'm going to format, go to adjustments, and these are in the direction. So if you forget, you can always go back to the Google Slides and look. Transparent means see-through, right? So it's not transparent right now at all. But if I adjust this, look how transparent that gets. Now it's really light. And you can adjust it to what you want. But now I can tell if I type on top of that, you're going to be able to see my writing. I'm good with it. So I'm going to X out of the format options, go back to my directions, and see what is next. Move that over. Number four says, add a title about your topic in large font. And you have the option to change the color. So going back, I'm going to unclick, unhighlight the picture. I'm going to say, insert... I can do insert text box, or there's a little image right here. I can just click on that image. And now my little pointer, I can click and drag to make a text box. So now I have a big text box. My title can be big. And as soon as I let go of the mouse, it now is ready to type. So I'm going to type my title is where protective gear that's really small so let's make it bigger I'm going to highlight it all the letters here's the font name and the font size so I think I'll change the font name first and you can search through and find one that you like I'm going to go Playfair display I really like that one now I'm going to change the size to make it big Let's try 72. I like that. It's a good size. Now, I don't. I want to center it. If you look at the example over here, see how the words are centered in the middle? So in order to do that, you can either expand your screen to see all the options, or you can always click those three little arrows at the side, and they give you more options. Um, oops. i got to highlight my text box again so I can see those options. And here uh, is how you align your text. So I'm going to down arrow and I'm going to choose in the middle. And I also want to change the color. So I'm going to have to highlight all of the letters again. You see the A with the line underneath? That's the text color. So I'm going to click on that. And how about we choose a nice blue? All right. I like that. My title is big. I've changed the color. You can tell by looking at my poster that the topic is wear protective gear. So let's go back to the instructions. Now it says add at least five details about your topic, smaller font than the title. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to need to add another text box. So I'll click here and I'm going to put that under the title. And I think that's probably enough space, so I'll let go. And I can see the little cursor, so I'm ready to type. But I don't know what I'm going to type yet. I know I need at least five details. But I'm going to go back to that article that we, we clicked on. And where it says wear protective gear, there's a lot of details here. So I'm going to read through it, and I'm going to pick 
five things. So if this was a poster hanging in my school to advertise wearing protective gear, what kind of things would it would it would it say? So um, it, I can see that it's talking about helmets. It's talking about eye protection, mouth guards, pads, wrist, elbow, and knee guards, a cup. Don't forget your feet, um, shoes. Talk to your parents and coach and, and know, to know what you need. Okay, so I've got some ideas, and you can take your time and read that a little bit more if you want. But I'm going to go back in here. I'm going to make my font. I'm going to do this ahead of time this time. I'm going to say play fair display, and I'm going to try maybe 48 this time because I want the font to be a little bit sp smaller than the title. And I can choose my color now, or I can do it later like we did for the title. I'm going to try it now, and I think I'm going to go with maybe this screen right here. And I'm also going to make it a bulleted list. And I'm going to say helmets, wrist, guards, mouth, guard. What else did it say? Um, I'm going to go back to the article. Says pads, eye protection, pads, eye protection. All right, so now I can choose to keep these aligned on the left or I can align them in the middle. If I was going to align them, remember you have to highlight it first and then click the down arrow here. I don't know, I kind of like it on the side better. So I'm going to send it back to the side. And now I'm going to just kind of look over it. And I kind of feel like that font is a little bit too light. I can't easily read that. So I'm going to go back and maybe this darker green color is better. I like that better. All right, so let's go back to our directions. And we have the five detailed to details about the topic. And then it says add at least two images to tell a story, add detail, or support your topic. Okay, I know exactly what I already what I want to do. I think I'm going to add more pictures of maybe a mouth guard or eye protection. And I'm going to put my pictures at the bottom. Now you could rearrange this differently. You don't have to do it exactly like I did. But I'm going to go back to insert, image, search the web. And then I get this little side area over here, and I'm going to say mouth guard. See what comes up. All right. I got quite a few. Hmm. I like this one. It's pretty plain. So I'm going to click. And then I'm going to insert. And it might create the image. Oh, yeah. I kind of had a feeling. It's really big and it's not where I want it. But all you got to do is um, find a corner. And then once you get the double arrow, that means you're, you're able to resize it. And then once you have the four arrows, that means you can move it. So if you don't have the four arrows, sometimes if you just move your cursor around, you'll be able to see those. I'm going to move that over here still looks kind of big so I know I have to put two pictures so I'm still gonna make it a little smaller if you see this little dot above your image if you click on that and drag it it'll make it'll turn your image so you can turn it completely upside down or sideways however you want to do it so I need still need another picture I'm gonna go back to insert image search the web and this time I was gonna look for eye protection may have to search oh hey okay, a lot of things came up these are mostly sunglasses what if i search for like maybe sports goggles oh there's uh, sports goggles well oh look at that that's pretty cool that's like a biker with a helmet and sports goggles so that's pretty, pretty cool. I'm going to pick that. Really big image, so let's make that smaller. 
still too big. Okay, and I'm not going to turn that one. I'm just going to leave that one straight. Let's go back to our instructions. It says, add a safety hashtag. The words, you must have the word safety. Some examples are personal safety, safety first, sports safety, etc. How about um, gear safety, sports gear safety? I'm going to have to add a text box, insert text box. And I'm going to add it right at the bottom. So here's my text box. I'm going to say hashtag sports gear safety. So that's pretty small, so I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to change it to my font that I've been using the whole time, Playfair Display, and then I'm going to increase the font size. Let's try 24. And that's okay. It looks a little bit low on the page. So if I highlight that and I find my four arrows, I can maybe raise it up just a tad. I think that'll, that'll do the trick. That works for me. And maybe I'll move it over a little bit. There we go. I like that. Going back to the directions, it says add your name to the project. So I'm going to make another text box, insert text box, and I'm going to put my name right here. Change my, my font by Mrs. Moore. And that is pretty small. Um, by the way, you can change your text box, make it smaller to kind of fit a little bit better. The reason why you do that, because then look, I can hi highlight my words and put them in the center. I just find it's easier to like move things around that way. But anyway, I'm going to make it bigger while I'm at it. I still have it highlighted. Oh, but look at that. I need my text box too small. So I can make it bigger so it fits again, and then I can move it. All right, so I have met all the requirements for the project at this point. I can turn it in right now, or I can decide, you know what, I think I can make it look better, which I do. I do feel that way. I do feel like the title could be a little bit darker or bigger, so I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to make it bold. Okay, that's already better. I'm going to make this text box a little bit bigger, so then I can make my font bigger, maybe? I'm not sure. We'll see what happens. Let's see, I can type in 80. So how does I do that? Oh, that's too big. If you want to undo the last thing you did, this little arrow over here can undo it. So I'm going to leave it back where it was. Maybe just keeping it bold will, will be better. Um, but from there, you know, you can change things around, move them, add things, take things away. But hopefully this was helpful for you in completing your project.